Some Valley families say the cost of deportation, though, pales in comparison to the price they've had to pay. Their loved ones killed by illegal immigrants. ABC 15's Melissa Blasius explains an effort to get justice for those families and keep the bad guys off the streets. Nothing can bring 21-year-old Grant Ronaback back to life. Gunned down at his convenience store job two years ago, the accused murderer, an illegal immigrant, and it was not his first crime, which is why State Senator Steve Smith introduced Grant's law. If this person would have been in jail, which they should have been, Grant would be alive. Under Grant's law, judges would not be able to give a break to illegal immigrants convicted of a felony. No minimum sentences, no probation, no suspended sentences or early release. If we have a way to put bad people behind bars that are convicted felons, not based on what they look or sound like, but actually what they've done and what they've been convicted of in a court of law, I think it's important and we need to do it. James Hamm with Middle Ground Prison Reform doesn't argue with the intent of the bill. The question is how are you going to write that into a statute? And I think what they did was they took a knee-jerk reaction. He says the way this bill is written is so flawed, he doubts it would ever pass constitutional muster. You can't punish a person for just for status. You can't prosecute a federal offense in state court. You shouldn't use an aggravating factor to determine whether the crime is going to be punished as flat time. And it doesn't target illegal aliens. The exact same bill failed by just one vote last year. At the state capitol, Melissa Blasius, ABC 15. Arizona business leaders worried about the loss of jobs as the future of all our trade deals are up in the air. I'm so Nuwasu coming up tonight at 6, the future of NAFTA and why it's so important for all of us here in Arizona. Emergency room staff, they say a lot of, a lot of strange things, but this may be right there at the top of the list. Trending right now, a woman walks in with her pet snake stuck right through her ear piercing. Ashley says she and her pet ball python named Bart are inseparable. Uh, but when she put him around her shoulders, they suddenly got a little too inseparable. What well, felt like he struck at my ear. I like froze instantly. I didn't move because I really thought he was like attacking the side of my head. Yeah, Bart didn't attack. Python's just like hiding in holes. <laughs> Ashley and the fire department couldn't get him out, so then she was sent over to the hospital. But besides a little bruising, everybody's doing okay. Do you think they plan for that in medical school? Ooh. Did they tell you what to do? Yeah, they horrifying. have to bring in animal control yeah, and the is. surgeons to try to figure out how to make it It's happen. a new lesson now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what's happening out there today. Temperatures are still nice and warm, 75 degrees. Right now, here in the valley, we're coming off that high of 75 at 73 at Phoenix Sky Harbor. But we're going to keep this above normal forecast going into the weekend. Dew point and humidity levels might go up a little bit, but we're going to stay dry here. No chances for rain and wind should stay light for us too as we wrap up the week. Here's tonight down to 69 degrees at 6 p.m. Sunset is exactly at 6 p.m. tonight. 66 at 7, 63 at 8, and down to 60 as we stay dry by 9. By then, a few clouds sneaking in. And as we go into tomorrow, more and more of those clouds, partly cloudy skies in our forecast for tomorrow and Friday as we wrap up the week. Anthem and Cave Creek in the upper 60s at this hour and uh, across the valley, mostly tracking the low to mid 70s in Chandler and in Gilbert. 71 degrees right now. Mesa, Tempe, Awatuki all at 7. 74, Levine and Goodyear are at 73 and at 72 right now in Deer Valley. Let's take a look right now across the state and up to the north. Temperatures are in the 40s. Flagstaff and Sholo, some of our coolest spots across the state. They will be freezing again tonight, but these afternoon temperatures have been unseasonably warm even up there, and that's going to continue into the weekend too. A few breezes to track along the rim. Winds at this point right around 15 miles per hour or so, and more of those breezes will be in the forecast across northern Arizona at times over the next couple of days. So here's the big picture as we look at clouds and radar, a few clouds starting to sneak in from the west and northwest right now ahead of the next storm system that we're tracking. Now, the storm, uh, the storm path, rather, the jet stream, which kind of steers those storms around, stays a little bit too far to the north for this thing to make a significant impact across most of our state. But what we do see happen on future casts going into late Thursday and Friday is we see this kind of clip through the Great Basin right across northwestern Arizona as well. So some changes in the forecast up there for the end of the week. Slight chance for showers up near the Grand Canyon, a few more clouds, and again, more clouds here in the valley, but a dry day tomorrow. 49 degrees through 6, 7 and 8 a.m. Another chilly start to the day. Afternoon highs running in the mid 70s, putting us about five degrees above average.
Ridge tomorrow. Ahwatukee, Tempe, Gilbert all hitting 74. Mesa tomorrow at 73. Scottsdale and Fountain Hills also at 73. So it's going to be a great day again out at the Phoenix Open for tomorrow with temperatures in the morning in the 40s, afternoon temperatures in the 70s. And we'll see those highs in the West Valley mostly around 72 or 73 degrees as well. Now as we look up to the north, lows tonight are going to be freezing in Prescott and Payson. Low 30s there, 19 in Flagstaff, 26 tonight in Sholo, 17 in Window Rock, and highs tomorrow in the 40s and 50s from the rim northeast to the four corners. More snow melt tomorrow with these very mild temperatures. And Prescott, Sedona, and Payson will top out in the upper 50s. We're going to continue this warm up into the weekend. Saturday at 76 degrees, Sunday at 77. Early next week, another quick storm system to track, another weak one too. Minimal impacts for the valley, just a slight chance of a few isolated showers up north and a subtle drop in temperatures with partly cloudy skies here on Monday and Tuesday. Seeing shelter dogs in a different light. The effort tonight to give more of these little guys a forever home. We are all curious. It's our thirst for knowledge, to ask questions, to ask why. At ABC 15, it's that curiosity that drives us to take action for our community. To empower you with accurate and reliable information so you can make smarter decisions. To be your trusted local source and keep you connected. We are ABC 15 News, taking action.